Evernote has added a new feature that allows you to annotate PDFs or pictures or whatever else. And you can do this even if you are not paying for the service. Also today, a viewer question about keeping sensitive notes in Evernote. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, a certified Evernote expert. I sit in on calls with Evernote developers to learn the latest from Evernote and then demonstrate it to you. Sign up for my weekly newsletter where I write about Evernote, productivity, leadership, and management issues. All you got to do is go to my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, and click on the old contact button. There used to be this feature called Skitch, which allowed you to annotate PDFs and photos in Evernote. That's gone. It's been gone for some time, but many of us old timers always wished it would come back. And it has. And it's free. Now, what I should say is that this is another example of where Evernote is making really cool features available to anyone who doesn't have an Evernote paid account. Anyone. But there is one catch. You do have to register to use it, but it is still free. But they're using it to acquire new users. Not a bad idea. So they're going to ask for your email address when you use this feature. Let me show you how it works. If you go to the Evernote website, evernote.com slash PDF hyphen editor, uh, I believe also PDF hyphen annotation works, you will get to this screen. The first thing you see on the very bottom, we'll get to this in a second, but at the very bottom it is saying, get started with Evernote to unlock more powerful editing features to keep yourself organized, and you can get a free trial uh, by going here. But you don't have to. You can try this out. Uh, the uh, little box here says all you have to do is drag and drop or upload a file here. It supports PDF and image file formats. Uh, there is a maximum, but obviously it's a big maximum. Let's take a picture that I have here and just slide it in. And uh, this is a picture of me in a radio studio. I just kind of grabbed this image from my website. Uh, but now you have a number of things that you can do uh, with this image. So the next thing it asks you, do you want to convert this file into another format? You can do that if you would like. But let's uh, take a look at some of these features. So you can add text and we can add text here. Uh, we can also uh, change the color. When we add more text in red, uh, you know, these are the kind of pretty much the standard tools that you'll see uh, uh, in any kind of a, uh, an editor. Um, you can add shapes, uh, you can draw, you can uh, blur your image, you can crop your image. I mean, basic tools uh, that you might use. Evernote does have a help page, which you can uh, look at, and it will give you advice on how to make all the changes on, on various devices. It will also describe each of the annotation tools uh, that uh, you have at your disposal. But as I said, most of these tools are the ones you're probably familiar with uh, from other programs that you use. And that's the free annotation editor. Of course, if you have an Evernote account, annotation is built right into the program to use. So let's go on to a viewer question now. A couple of videos ago, I uh, had this video which I called Don't Keep This in Evernote. Pretty popular video. And it prompted one of my viewers mobile experience Chris to write in. He said, hey Dave, you're a pretty objective person, so I'll ask you a couple of questions. I keep sensitive notes in Evernote, but I encrypt the text. Do you think that's sufficient, or would I be safer putting them in standard notes or notes nook? Well, Chris, I encrypt portions of my notes in Evernote. And while I'm not an expert on encryption, I do know that Evernote tells us they follow industry standards on security. Now, my approach is to encrypt Evernote notes that are private, but would not pose a security risk if they were discovered. So for example, I don't store passwords or social security numbers, things like that inside Evernote. But I gotta tell you, I don't store those things in Dropbox or any other cloud-based service. So go to the Evernote website and uh, go to click on security 
and you can see what uh, uh, they do to keep your material on their cloud safe. Hey, if you have a question about Evernote that I can answer, email me at daveedwards at outlook.com. Oh, and check out my course, Evernote for Beginners. Yes, it is for newcomers to Evernote, but I've had a lot of people take the course uh, who've been around Evernote for some time and say, this class is perfect for reminding them about all that they can do inside of Evernote and how they can organize it as well. Check it out, Evernote for Beginners. DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses. You know, Evernote has the potential to be the foundation of your entire productivity system, or it might just be one more app that sits unused on your device. The difference lies in how you set it up and how well you understand its functions. I'm Dave Edwards, and that's why I developed the online course Evernote for Beginners. It's designed not only for new users, but also for Evernote veterans who want to unlock more of its features. Check out the details at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses.